This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, I'm Raziel K and I'm back with another tour review and today something very different, a 3.0 MDLX Rodimus Prime. Uh, this is a gift I got from my friend Vince. Thank you so much. I, I constantly play with this guy now. Uh, it's uh, super posable. Um, it doesn't transform, you know, it's like a mini animated statue. Very stylized. Uh, a lot of people told me that it was a uh, IDW style. I don't know. I see a lot of G1 in it. I never read IDW, so I really don't care about that. But this is actually a fantastically stylized figure. Um, kind of reminds me of the Kang Toys uh, Predacons, but you know, not as detailed. But it looks really good. Uh, the uh, you have like even the rifles can combine in different ways. Uh, if you have the MDLX Optimus Prime, they give you a shaking hand, hand. So that's pretty cool. And then. You have, you know, uh, that matrix comes with the Optimus Prime from MDLX, uh, from 3.0. So, but you do have the hands to hold it, which, anyway, I don't have it, so. But yeah, uh, this is my first 3.0 MDLX figure. Uh, maybe I'll do the project uh, registration. Uh, I don't know, maybe you can win a prize. I don't think so. But yeah, I'm really, like, this is a fan. It's already open and everything. I've played with it for uh, about a week now. Uh, it's fantastic. It's honestly a. Uh, I didn't think I was going to like. Well, I knew I was going to like it, but not that much. Like honestly, it, it's. Um, I've I've never been uh, prone to buy uh, non-transforming uh, transformers, but this this is pretty impressive. I actually have the uh, sideswipe on pre-order because if there's a sideswipe, I'm hoping they're gonna do a sunstreaker. So I don't want to miss out on a side swipe if they do a Sunstreaker, but you know, if they don't do a Sunstreaker, then I'm just going to have a side swipe. So not a bad deal. But uh, yeah, there you go. But before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Taking a serious pounding. All right, I had to pull the camera back a little bit because uh, it's a pretty big box, but I just want to show really yeah nice product shot. Uh, the Autobot logo, Transformer Rod, and you know MDLX Rod and Prime. It's part of the Generations line, so that's cool. Uh, three zero. Uh, other product shot with a shiny sticker here. Not too sure why. Um, so you have the Matrix, not included, Laser Blaster, Combined Blaster Rifle, and Photon Eliminator Rifle. Um, you have the display of the hand, Rodimus Prime, the Autobot logo, and a nice, uh, I guess, concept art of the figure. Uh, black and white, that's really cool. And other stuff, what else? Yeah, the gibberish uh, that nobody reads. And uh, there you go. Nice looking box. And then I didn't clip that back, and then I put it, and then all the hands fell. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it comes with uh, the uh, the spoiler. You know what, for this, maybe I'll bring the camera back forward a little bit. There you go. Nice spoiler, doesn't move. No, you know, there's no articulation to it. But very nicely detailed. I like the uh, the pencil work that's done to it. I have to highlight all of the uh, little, uh, you know, holes, not holes, but ridges and nook and crannies. And uh, it's actually pretty sharp. Uh, these part here and the top of the spoiler, uh, even here. Uh, well, actually, this one doesn't. Uh, but this one, if you push hard, you could uh, cut someone. So, you know, useful. And it clips with this type of clip here. I'm so used to 5 millimeter ports. But there's a, um, a slit right here. We're just gonna go ahead and shove that in. 
And that's it, and it holds pretty good. No problem there. You get, well, tons of hands. All right. I guess uh, that's it for the plastic insert. So you have one pointer finger. You have two of these closed fists. You have a set of jazz hands. Cause you know, you need those. You have the Optimus hand. I guess it could fit on Rodimus if you want to pretend he's, uh, well, Michael Jackson with one glove. Uh, you have a semi fist to uh, hold the gun, but that's, oh, actually, no, those are, whoops. Well, this one's lost for a minute. You have, uh, these are the uh, uh, fingers to hold the matrix. So I'm not going to use that one. You have a semi open hand. You have a thumbs up. And you only get one, so you can't do the double thumbs up. You only have one pointer, one, and then the other one, one pointer, and then one uh, thumbs up, and then the other one are all uh, doubles, except uh, the shaking hand. So, oh, semi-open, that's the hand shaking. So basically, you can do this with your Optimus. Come on, zoom in, there you go. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave that there. Let me go grab that uh, fist I dropped. All right, for the gun, uh, you have the laser rifle. Uh, looks really good. Uh, nice detail, no hollowness, that's a plus. You usually get uh, a lot of hollow parts on Hasbro, but this, this is just nice. I like the, come on, there you go. I really like uh, this uh, blaster. And the hands uh, do hold it pretty good, except that it's kind of hard to uh, get it in there, you know, because you're always afraid you're going to break something. So um, I do it. No, not this one. I do it. Well, they're already on the. Yeah, I switched uh, put the um, gun hands on uh, the figure. Uh, but uh, I so I unplug the hand, put put it around this and then plug the, the hand back in. So it's uh, just, uh, works a little better for me anyway. Uh, you have this thing here, which by itself is nothing, but if you combine it with this part here, you get the blaster rifle. And basically you have, I don't know if you'll see it, but you have a little plug here and a slit. Come on, catch it. There you go. So you have the little button here. And basically uh, it's for this uh, hole here and that little slit right there. You have to line it up perfectly. And right now, I'm not doing it. Am I backwards? Oh, I'm backwards. I was backwards. And then you push it in, and it holds pretty tight. So that's the, what they call it? That's the blaster rifle. Looks really good. Again, no hollow part. Nicely detailed. Could use a little paint. But I like the... It's like gunmetal brown to my eyes. I really like this. And then if you remove this part, and it's in there pretty good. But if you put the laser rifle on it, this gives you the photon eliminator rifle. So a nice sniper rifle, looks really good. And he holds it pretty well too, so that's it's always good. So there you go. Uh, well, let's keep it like that for now. Uh, let's move this stuff out of the way. He does, even if he doesn't transform, he does come with instructions. Uh, they show you the, re okay, relax hand, not jazz hands. Point, uh, left pointing hand, left thumbs up hand, folding, um, for holding bla laser blaster hand, matrix, uh, right Optimus, uh, Rodimus Prime, right uh, Optimus Prime handshake. And then they show you where to put the spoiler, but also how to move uh, you know, like this moves up and down. Uh, and then you can, you know, you have the butterfly. And then if you want to do this pose, you have to move the top part. Um, so I'll show you in a minute. Uh, be careful where it can uh, um, scratch. Uh, same here, there's a warning. So that's cool. They say, okay, be careful with this. And then you have the uh, the waist, what moves, uh, the legs, if you want to do kick, knee bends, and same thing for the feet. So that's pretty cool. And then, you know, how to do the, uh, the different guns. So 
yeah really nice and then you have don't choke on the things i'm guessing uh in yeah well it's in english here and then after that it's well something i can't read so really nice that they include that and now we get to the figure itself and it's just wow like honestly it's just a big wow moment he looks real good I'm gonna move it a little forward here look at the face sculpt on this it's a little more robotic than what we're used to but cybertronian modes not modes but You'd expect something like that. You know, it's not like the Bavers aesthetic where it's too insect or, you know, there's too many details in it. This is just the right amount of details between a an actual sentient robot and animation. In my opinion, you know. So I really like that head sculpt. The details, the pointy thing here, just little uh, horns. Uh, you have the uh, the mohawk, looks really good, painted inside, uh, blue eyes, silver, and then you have like a gunmetal uh, here, like a bronze, yeah, that's, the, yeah, bronze uh, neck, and then you have, sh sorry, I'm not knocking the camera, shoulder cannons, but it, it's not cannon, it's just, you know, style. Uh, you have the, uh, oh, the camera's zooming out, there you go. You have uh, the, uh, the, the the fin here, the shoulder pad, nice arm, and then the chest is really nice. You know, it's it, it, it can be smoother now because it doesn't transform, it doesn't have to be an actual uh, hood. So the details on it, it's much nicer. You have like some steel plates here and kind of a neck guard, uh, looks really good. The flame is really nicely done. Uh, the Autobot logo, and then you have like a little silver, I don't know, thing here. Uh, and it's asymmetrical, so that's pretty cool that they, uh, they, do, they do that, you know. So, oh no, it's because I'm misaligned. No, it's symmetrical. Oh well. And I really dig the, uh, the style here. Uh, you have on the arms themselves, you have all the, uh, you have the wheel, it doesn't spin, but you have the exhaust. And then you have that uh, wrist guard here, and that kind of moves a little bit so that you can see the rest of the uh, uh, exhaust port, you know. So that's really well done. And then you could probably remove that. Most of these things are um, the moving parts, the small ones are on like tiny ball joint. But I don't have a feeling that I'm going to break it when I move it, so that's a plus. Uh, you have, oh man, so many details. Like just look at the the abs here looks really good uh, I like the uh, the details on it uh, you know that's much more than what we get on an actual Transformers uh, you have a very articulated belt uh, but that's for leg movement uh, posability uh, just the details on it though I like the color the two type of red looks real good and then you have all around the skirt lifts and the butt flap also lifts oh this one fell out this one actually i have to say is a little loose it's not the first time it fell hold on there you go but it's a very soft click so yeah and then do we have uh, for the rest of the back well you have the spoiler without the spoiler you do have a nice detailed back but I prefer with the spoiler. And it clips on pretty good back legs. You have those nice uh, silver gunmetal. Uh, looks really good. Uh, again, the bronze. I'm colorblind, so this could be all purple and pink. I don't care. This looks amazing. Love the details on the back leg. You have, again, the uh, exhaust lines. And the back of the leg looks really good. And then you have like a, I don't know, a skid plate. Oh, this moves. Wow, impressive. That's for the, the feet movement. There you go. I like that. And the front of the legs, nice details. Uh, you have like those, you know, little three spots here. Looks really good. Uh, the little lines, uh, nice uh, knees, painted, detailed. 
and then the legs you have the red the black and a bit of orange looks good this leg has a bit of a, a paint smudge like it's it's i don't know if it's scratch or battle damage or but it's fantastic this this is a very it, it's way out of what i usually uh collect you know mainline uh i have a couple of my masterpiece and uh, but this is a whole other level of details uh, that I really enjoy. I mean, if we could get this transforming, it'd probably be a thousand bucks. But <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's hard not to get addicted to these things. It's really hard. Let's do what they don't expect. Counter attack! Now for articulation, there's tons of it. So the head uh fully rotates on itself at the top of the neck then the bottom of the neck has this movement so you can look down a little bit but with the ab crunch you can uh, look at that spike and say hey you know stop stealing my thunder and then you can look like this or look up at incoming decepticons um a little bit of attitude, left, right, looks really good. The arms, this move, so if you want, you can push it back so that you can lift the arm up. And actually, it's scary sometimes, but the, uh, yeah, you can get this height if you move it properly. So that's pretty good. Uh, same on the other side, you have your merry-go-round, I mean your ferris wheel, but you have to kind of move uh, the whole thing a little bit. Uh, the You have a rotation, if you move this a little bit, or if you remove it like an idiot, come on. If you move it just a little bit, you do have a full rotation at the elbow. And also you have a double bend to give you a nice angle on the arm. That's pretty cool. And then because it's on a, a ball joint, the hands rotate the whole way. But also there's movement like the way that this, well, let's remove it. The way that this it's done is that inside the hands, there's a... Um, another movement like a I don't know what you'd call it but it moves even more so that's a plus to me big plus uh, what else you got um, you have well you have your merry-go-round at the waist but I think you have to move I don't know it's blocked so you don't have a merry-go-round at the waist Ah, I was half expecting that, but okay. You, you don't have the merry-go-round, but you do have the nice ab crunch I showed earlier. It doesn't go backward though, but you do have all the articulation here. Even this thing here move. Um, don't know why, but if I, I guess you know for possibility, um, it could be useful. If you lift the skirts up, you have. You almost have a Johnny Cage. It's it's missing maybe a well, eh, good enough. It holds. So that's a good Johnny Cage. You have a superb kick forward. Big 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 leg, a big foot. You have a fantastic knee bend like that. And then for the the articulation, uh, yeah, the leg you can pull it down and pull it up because of how it's done. Uh, so I don't know if you can actually make uh, a different uh, level. It depends how the the way the leg is uh, angled, I guess. Oh, I need to put that back. Oh, do you have a kickback? Let's let's go for a kickback. I forgot to check that one. Out. Come on, you go back in, pin. There you go. Nope. All right. Well, for now, let's just do the kick back. Oh, you have a nice one. There you go. 
Oh yeah. All right. There you go. Back in. Uh, so the foot, uh, you can get, uh, you can move this part here, and it allows you for a better. Because if it's down, it kind of blocks. So you lift this up. Come on. There you go. You lift it up, and then you have a um, a tilt, an ankle tilt, a really good one. And then you have a uh, toe like that. Oh, yeah, and this piece moves backward when you do the pose. So the posability on this guy is amazing. Wow. So these are the articulation for this guy. Oh, well, let's uh, pose him for with guns. Uh, so I already have this gun made. I'm gonna change this hand, and then you can use the hand shaker, which now has fallen here. Put it, oh wait, ha, oh. <laughs> the ball stuck inside the hand. So this part should go in. Mm. Oh, it's wedged in there, good. All right, give me a second. So be careful people because this pin, this is a double ball joint. So uh, it's supposed to stay inside the arm, but I guess it was too too uh, tight inside the uh, gun holding hand. So, and now I'm having a hard time putting it back in. Uh, all right, let's try something else. I'm gonna put it in this. I'm guessing I'm gonna have a hard time with all of this now. There you go, and now, okay, so it's the gun hand that's uh, too tight. So this is the open hand, because there's a pose I really like to do, and the only one who could kinda do it was Scourge from the um, Studio Series 86 line. All right, hold on, let me put this in. All right, finally got it in there. This pose. I love this pose, where he's holding the gun like that. And so far, the only guy in my collection that can do this is this guy, because of the kind of open hand. Scourge is the only one that I could do it with. Now this one can do it too, so that's cool. You're not second me this time! Alright, so now let's do some size comparison, because this guy looks really good. So let's uh, compare him with... Oh, maybe I can move it a little closer, there you go. Oh, alright. Uh, so here's uh, Rodimus Prime with 2008 Classic Hot Rod with uh, Toy Hacks decals. And uh, one thing I noticed is that I guess only Hot Rod has the saw. Rodimus Prime never had it, so but that would have been a cool accessory. My boy Sunstreaker from the Masterpiece line, and I like the scale on this one. Pretty, uh, it's pretty close. Uh, he should be maybe I don't know if I think Sunstreaker was pretty tall, but uh, he should be maybe a little shorter. So this is not exactly Masterpiece scale. He should be taller. And to prove me wrong, Kingdom Rodimus Prime also can do that pose. I totally forgot I had him like that. So and you can see a lot of difference. Uh, in the face sculpt and the uh, the mold itself. Uh, so I'm guessing where, like this is cartoon accurate shoulders, so I'm guessing that's from the IDW stuff. Uh, but they look really, they both look really good. I mean, this is to me the best Rodimus Prime for a Transformers figure uh, that transform. Uh, but yeah, the, this takes a cake when it comes to displaying, just for fun of looking at it. This is fantastic. You know, this is kind of bulky. Transformation's a little hard on the chest, uh, but it's, uh, it's it's still a pretty amazing figure. All right. So now I'm gonna take a, a couple shots uh, for posability. I don't have a stand, so you're gonna see my hand in all those pictures. And uh, I'm not that great at posing. If you want to see great pictures, go see Sardo, one of the Rejecticons. He does fantastic pictures.
So that's it guys, that's the end of the review. I adore this figure. Vince, thank you so much. Uh, you might have created another uh, addiction for me, but this is fantastic. The posability of this guy, the style, uh, all the accessories, uh, I think it's way worth the price. He has a good weight to it. There's no hollowness, which I'm not used to anymore uh, because Hasbro is full of holes. But this, this, this is this is great. Uh, it's uh, it was my birthday gift for uh, February. It was supposed to arrive in March, and it just arrived in uh, November. So uh, it's a late birthday present from him. And uh, in exchange, I got him a uh, SH Figure Art Berserker guts. So check that out if you're into the Berserks line. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.